Okay, so the other uh, thing on this. Oh, it's not this one. So my friend's been letting me borrow the Neil Gaiman comic books, which is really interesting because you have Destiny, Desire, and uh, Dream. And there's other characters too, Death and whatnot. But it's funny because my sister is a Dreamer, I am a Desiree, and then I keep calling her like my long lost sister because uh, my mom wanted to have a Destiny. So one of my best friends who's very much like my sister is Destiny. And I've known her in a past life as well. But in these comic books, I finally got uh, season four. And yes, it was the day that I finally, like, well, I already kind of had a feeling that my roommate's girlfriend was Lucifer incarnation. I just was trying to avoid thinking about it or coming to that conclusion. I was like, no, can't be. This is a very dark place here, too. It's like, there's light and there's dark here. It's very strange. I'm trying to find a good picture of their depiction of Lucifer, if I could find it. But, I don't know. Here's their depiction of Lucifer. There's better pictures of him. Yeah. What is funny about this character in the comic book is I started reading this, and then the Lucifer walks into my door, and I started like being like, wait a second, doesn't that look like, I was like, holy fuck, she actually does look like Lucifer, and fucking, I'm not saying that that's what he was necessarily going for or anything, like, to be honest, like, Lucifer, I think, could, should look like anyone or anything, but, I mean, it's really fucking weird. And like I said, her real name literally means bringer of light and truth. So, I was just... And then, <clears throat> my other conclusion of why I believe this to be so... 999, was, uh... I didn't tell you guys about this, but I almost got raped by a demon here. I knew something was up and I walked into the house. Um, I've never had anything like this ever happen to me. Like, I've been attacked, but never, like, sexually attacked or anything. That was kind of, like, lights went off right there. But, um, yeah, like, I came home, I felt something was off, Jason felt something was off, and we were all just kind of like, what the fuck is, like, something's weird here, but we couldn't place it, I couldn't see anything either. And then when I went to sleep, uh, that night, my astral body ended up in the bathroom and then there was this like big hairy thing behind me with like really big hands I remember because it like wrapped around my entire waist and um then I felt like a dick slide between my legs and at first I want to see I was kind of like in this like trance of yes I want it and then I was like wait what the fuck is going on like why am I in this dark bathroom I hate the dark why why is there this monster thing behind me and then I was like, fuck, I, I don't even think I'm in my, like, oh, I started, like, trying to uh, open the fucking bathroom door in my hand and kept going through, and I was like, I'm in my astral form. I'm not even in my real body right now. Fuck. So I started trying to get back to my body. And then I got pulled out of my body a second time, but this time I didn't wind up in the bathroom. I was hovering over my body, and this uh, shadow being came in through this window, and... I was hovering and I started like saying things like, you know, I am, I am the light, I am uh, of God, you know, you cannot fuck with me, if you fuck with me, you're fucking with me, my guides, everyone on my, on my team, like, you're fucked, like, I, I was just like, you know, I don't know, I was chanting some weird mod, I don't even know what the fuck I was saying, I don't even remember, it was just something of like, I am the light, and this thing like bounced around my room, and then darted back out the window and I came back into my body and luckily Jason got me out of it and he's like yo like what's up and I told him what I was like seeing and what was happening to me well it turns out my roommate's girlfriend the one I think is Lucifer mentioned oh yeah I, I saw it like she's like she's so innocent and so nice like she really is like I kind of like her better than my roommate but I'm also weary of her because of this one thing you know like she saw this thing come in and she was like 
oh, hi, like, th these guys, like, bowed to her, she said, and they had introduced themselves, and she's like, you guys aren't here for us or the kids? And they were like, no, we're not here for you guys. And then she didn't warn me of what, of the danger or anything, you know what I mean? Like, that's, that's what gets me, like, I would have liked a little bit of a heads up of, hey, these guys came in, just so you know. So that kind of like is a little bit disturbing that she could have sent them away or could have gave me a heads up, but she didn't. But these things bow to her and introduce themselves at the door, so... Yeah. <laughs> there was that. Um, but she's the thing is, she's so likable. Like, extremely likable. Like, um, so I'm getting my passport today due to a friend of hers, and I don't like to mention, like, who we're all connected with because there is a lot of secret stuff right that's going on right now and I'm like um some things I just I can't mention you know like cuz could put me in danger could put other people in danger like I just feel it's best to keep my mouth shut on these things but <laughs> just so you guys know I will be going to Puerto Rico and I should be back should be back <laughs> I don't know what I'm getting myself into, pretty much. Um, but I do feel called to go to Puerto Rico to help this person, um, or else I wouldn't have gotten the passport, and it's really funny that this person is friends with my twin flame on Facebook, and this person is just very hidden away from the world, so how the fuck does my twin flame, who doesn't even talk to me anymore, know this person too? So I'm like, this is very, like, this is all a very strange, like, coincidence. So I'll be going to Puerto Rico to check out the situation, to check out if there is any help to give or whatever. Like, I'm a healer and I do things, but it also sometimes puts me in some really dark predicaments with people. And I'm like, oh man, I didn't know how serious of a thing this is. Like, hope I don't die today. <laughs> like, fuck. Um... So yeah, that's that's the gist of my story, reincarnation, uh, living with, not living, but being associated with reincarnation of Lucifer on this planet right now, and maybe going to Puerto Rico here in the next few, well first I gotta get my passport today, I hope that I get it soon, and then going out there, but this person also just came down with some kind of parasites, and we're talking like it's coming through the skin kind of thing. So I don't want to go down there just yet. I want to just kind of wait this little wave out. Because I'll deal with the other dark shit. The parasites I don't want to deal with. I'm going to wait till this person gets better. That's good. And then I can deal with whatever spiritual shit I have to go do. And hopefully I'll come back in one piece. I will try and document things while I'm there, but I don't believe I'm going to be allowed. <laughs> it's going to probably be maybe a few things, pictures or whatever in the jungle. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Like, I just... 